Hey everybody, it's Adrian Grant from Empower Me Corporation coming to you with a little bit of real talk today. Today, as you might see, I look a little different than I do in my usual videos because I am dressed down. I'm dressed as I actually am throughout the day, throughout my work day, and throughout my work week. So what I wanted to address in this video is there is there have been a couple of conversations that I've had in the last couple of weeks from entrepreneurs, small business owners who work hard but are struggling or maybe encountering some difficulties. And the common theme that I'm getting from them is they feel like everybody else, especially on social media, seems like they're so perfect and their business is so perfect and everything is just peachy and beautiful and wonderful. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's like that for some people. Sometimes it's not. You know, you got to take everything on social media with a grain of salt. Nobody's experience is perfect with entrepreneurship. I've been an entrepreneur since 1994, officially since 1994, but even way before that it's been in my DNA. There have been some really tough times for me and some hard roads. And even recently, you know, in the last couple of years, I've had some, some struggles. And the thing about it is I always try to make sure that I come up with what's right for my clients, what's right for my audience, what's right for my um followers or whatever you want to call them, I never try to put on or portray something that I'm not. And what I want to say to you is don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about because you see one person's video and her hair is always perfect or this one always has the perfect suit or this guy always has the perfect thing to say. Well, you know what? They didn't just pop out of bed turn on the cameras and everything was peachy keen. It doesn't work that way. Even when I do my videos, sometimes I do some some primping and some prepping. Yeah, I'll do my hair or I'll put on some makeup. But most times is just how I am now. No makeup, dress down, you know, and I'm working in my office because a lot of my clients I deal with over the phone. And the ones that I deal with on video conference or Skype or Google Hangouts, I dress from the waist up. You know, I'm wearing sweats or shorts or capris or some jeans down below. But on top, I have something nice and classy, and, you know, put on some accessories or whatever. But here's here's my advice to you. Nobody is perfect. If you spend your life worrying about what other people are doing, how other people look, how other people's websites are better than yours, how other people's services are packaged better than yours, how everyone seems to get so many people on their mailing list or to attend their events or buy their services, stop. Stop, because you're going to drive yourself crazy with business envy. Nobody wants to go through business envy. You know, I admitted at one point I did have business envy on a couple of people, but then I had to realize that I bring me to the table. I bring what's in here, in my heart, in my soul, to my company. My soul and my being is infused all throughout Empower Me. So every every interaction you have with Empower Me, whether it's with one of my staff members or whether it's through one of my videos or my, my writings or anything that you come in contact with, you know that there is an essence of Adrian in there. I don't run anyone else's race but my own. I don't worry about what other people are doing. My response is always, so what? So what? They can copy what I'm doing, but they don't bring my heart and my passion and my soul to it. I created this brand. I built this brand based on my internal thoughts, based on what I was feeling and what I wanted to see in this company. And you should do the same for your company. Don't worry about what the next person is because listen, all of those Facebook statuses, they can't always be real all the time. And everybody's not going to put their heart on their sleeve and they're not going to put the real deal out there. You know, they may put the accolades and the awards and the, the clients landed and, you know, the big flashy things. But you don't see the tears. You don't see the late nights. Just the, the other week, I spent three straight nights with maybe three hours, four hours of sleep each day straight coding and troubleshooting my websites. Me, I did that. I wasn't cute. I wasn't perky. I wasn't pretty. I wasn't, you know, my usual self. It was me head down deep into the work. You didn't know about that. All you saw was the end result because that's what I showed you. People are not going to show you the bad and the ugly. They're going to show you only the good, especially on social media, because you got to remember, social media is a tool for people to put their best foot forward. Never mind about authenticity for some people. They just want to see, they want you to see the polished end result. But you know me, I give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I have nothing to lose. Transparency and authenticity is what this brand is about. 
course it's about growth strategies in any economy, but it's about me being authentic about what I bring to you. There have been projects that I've halted because I thought they weren't perfect enough in other people's eyes. There have been things that I've turned down because I felt that, no, 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 if I associated with that, they would think differently of the brand. Well, guess what? Does it matter? Because who Empower Me is for is who it's for. Who it's not won't be bothered. You know, it doesn't matter if you're sitting in a home office, in your bedroom, in, at your kitchen table, out on your deck. As you know, I like to work out on my deck most times. As long as you bring your heart and your soul to your business and you give it your all and you focus on building the best business you can, giving the best service possible to your clients and your customers and building a brand that has trust. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what people announce on Facebook. It doesn't matter because you know what? I guarantee you, I guarantee you, a lot of those people that put these big flashy announcements or the ones that start talking about people who, oh, well, they're not successful. They don't want success or whatever, whatever. I guarantee you if there wasn't a free medium, if there wasn't a Facebook to shout and promote this, you wouldn't hear from them. So think about it this way. Are you really concerned about what other people are doing? No, you shouldn't be. Focus on what you need to do to achieve your results and reach your end goal. This is Adrienne Graham from Empower Me Corporation from my home office. Well, not my office, but my home. I'm not going to tell you which part of my home, but in my home. And if you want to learn more about Empower Me, go to www.empowerme.org. We still say that? No, we don't still say www, but empowerme.org. Check out the new empoweredforgrowthtv.com, empowermemagazine.com, empoweremeradio.com is coming soon. But until then, you can catch the show or views from the top on Blog Talk Radio. And of course, check out our web show that I co-host with Stephanie C. Harper, Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern. And look out for my blogs and my videos and all the other stuff that I have going on. It's all about empowering you and helping you to live and grow your business to the best of your abilities. So take care and also tweet me at Talent Diva on Twitter or send me an email, info at empowerme.org. Let's see how we can work together to help you build your business, grow your business, and expand your brand. Have a good day.